Tracy! Oh, Mr. Levenstein. Hey. Hey, you're back for more yoga. Well, my wife is hooked on it, and uh, she thinks if I, if I can be a little more flexible, we can try some new... Uh... H have you ever heard of a book called the uh, Kama Sutra? No. Oh, well, my wife just got it, and uh, there's some stuff in there that requires some serious stretching, if you know what I mean. Are you okay, honey? You look uh, a little upset. Oh, um, you know, just some boyfriend stuff. Oh, boyfriend stuff. Well, if there's anything I can do. No offense or anything, but I don't think you'd understand. Oh, I see. You know, my son had his fair share of relationship slash sexual slash uh, pastry related uh, difficulties. And uh, I think uh, my advice helped him over the years. Well, do you have any advice for a girl dumb enough to give her virgin boyfriend a guilt-free pass for the weekend? I'm sorry, a, a, a guilt-free pass? That means he could do whatever he wants this weekend with no consequences. Oh, my. Well, that uh, certainly sounds progressive. And, uh, and, and a safe bet on what is probably going to be a, a humdrum weekend. He's at the Naked Mile this weekend. You gave your boyfriend a guilt-free pass to the Naked Mile? Are you kidding me? Tracy, the Naked Mile is, is insane. You. From what I hear, I, I, I wouldn't know from personal experience uh, because I, you know, I have nothing uh, whatsoever uh, to do with it. But, but, look, Tracy, even if your boyfriend is at this naked mile, it doesn't mean he's, he's gonna do anything. Really? Well, just because he can doesn't mean he will. Relationships are, are all about trust. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, namaste. Namaste. Eric Stifler. Hey, Mr. Levenstein. Hello, Eric. Good to see you. Yeah. Wow, I haven't seen you since... My parents' New Year's party, right? Yes, well, your folks really, really know how to bring in the New Year. Look, I'm sorry about my dad giving you that wedge in front of everybody. Well, your dad's been doing that to me since since we were kids, and uh, strangely enough, I, I enjoy it. So, what are you doing up here? Oh, well, I, uh... I went to school here, and, uh, you know, I, I like to uh, come back every now and then, and, uh... Check out the campus. That, that's, uh, that's the only reason I'm here. No other reason that, uh, that I can think of. And what about you? What are you doing here? Actually, it's kind of personal. Oh. Yeah. Well, say no more. Okay. Okay, listen good seeing you. Yeah, for sure. Actually, Mr. Levenstein, you were a counselor at Tawuk's band camp with my cousin Matt, right? Yes. Yes, I was. And your cousin Matt needed some counseling. Yeah. I might add, uh, I gave him some, uh, advice. Advice. <clears throat> Do you think I could, um, confide something in you? Well, sure. Yes, Eric, anything. Anything. Okay. I'm a virgin. Okay, can I stop you there? You're a stifler and a virgin? Yeah. Well, uh, so you're a virgin. What's, what's, what's the big deal? Well, the other night, my girlfriend and I, we tried to, you know, right. But her father came down before we had the chance to, so she changed her mind completely about the sex. But she gave me a guilt-free pass for the weekend. You got the guilt-free pass? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you, you, uh, you got the old guilt-free pass dilemma. It's, yeah. it's a tough one. I didn't think people your age knew about that kind of stuff. I believe I know more about this than you think. Good. Because I just don't know what to do here. I mean, I've got this smoking hot sorority girl all over me. Well, you know, my son Jim went through kind of a similar 
dilemma. He was going out with this very attractive foreign exchange student named Nadia. Right, yeah. right, yeah. That's the one he blew his load too early with, right? Yes. Twice. Yes. Over the internet. That's, yeah. that's, that's the sure. one. Well, uh, blowing loads aside, uh, yeah. the next summer, Nadia came to visit Jim at the beach, and he turned her down because he had fallen in love with Michelle, who he later married and is now the mother of my grandchild. And so you're saying I, I shouldn't hook up with the sorority girl? I'm saying I think only you know the answer to that, Eric. Well, got to run. Oh, Eric, I was uh, sorry to hear about your grandmother. 